I think Steve Jobs fired me about five times. <laughs> the first time Steve fired me was actually probably the most traumatic because I thought it was going to be the last time I would ever work with him. And he called me into his office, or into a conference room, I should say, and uh, his CFO was sitting there and he looked at me and he said, uh, I'm going to cut off my contract with you. I, I think the work you're doing is terrible and I, we're just going to stop it right now. So that's it. You're fired. And, uh, and of course I was taken, you know, I was emotional, I was much younger, I didn't cry, but I was, very, I was on the verge of it. Uh, and I didn't really know what to do, so I said, okay, well, you know, you owe me $35,000, and so we'll, I'll arrange, you know, for you. He goes, I'm not going to pay you that because your work wasn't worth it. And I, and I was just kind of taken aback. So I, I left the room, and I called my mentor, who was a man named Regis McKenna, and Regis said to me, um, well, if you want to get paid by Steve Jobs, you're going to have to have something over him. And I said, I, I don't have anything over Steve Jobs. You know that, Regis. And he said, no, you do. And I said, what is that? And he goes, your relationships with the business press. And I said, oh, I get it. So I went back and I got in a meeting with Steve because I was friendly with his CFO. She got me a meeting. I walked in there to the meeting, which he took, which was amazing. And I said, Steve, you owe me $35,000. I need that money. I have a startup company. I need to make payroll. Uh, and I, I want you to give me a check for what you owe me. And he said, he said, I'm not going to do that. And I said, I said, you have to do that. And he said, why? And I said, well, uh, just so you know, Steve, I get about 30 or 40 phone calls a week from the business press that we've made relationships over the last couple of years asking me what kind of a guy you are to work with. And I currently tell them very nice things. And he wrote me a check immediately. <laughs> and then he hired me back. Steve got angry with everybody that worked with him. Um, he was very impatient. He had a vision of what it was that you were supposed to be accomplishing it, and if you didn't do it fast enough or you didn't do it right enough, he definitely got angry. He threw things at people, nothing heavy, but he threw wads of paper at people, swore at people, criticized their clothing. He did all those things. So, uh, so what it did to certain people is it, it caused us to push even harder and, and try to be even better. But for some people, it destroyed them. Fortunately for me, I was one of the first types, and I am forever grateful to him, actually, for the experience, because now I, I'm so much better at what I do than I would have been without him.